guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be heading to Burley Estate to have an afternoon tea. It's basically a 16th century house built in 1555. It looks like they do do a, I guess a Christmas fair, end of November. And then you can just see Burley House. It looks really pretty. I imagine it's stunning if it was snowing. Cold, but stunning. Ooh. But it's quite blustery. Oh. Very autumnal. But you can see this looks to be the what is it stable courtyard. We're just heading to the Orangery restaurant, which I think is where the afternoon tea is held. So I just need to find that. So it looks like there's a map. This just gives you an idea of the layout. So you've got Burley House, Sculpture Garden, Garden of Surprises. Looks like they've got Muddy Mole, Courtyard Shop, Garden Shop, Garden Cafe and Orangery Restaurant. So yeah, we're heading to the Orangery Restaurant. Looks like they've got a Christmas shop, so I might just pop in and check it out because I'm a little bit early. But I imagine this is also where they do their fair. So this is in the brew house. Let's see if this is open. I'm not sure if it's actually open.
upstairs, this is the Burley House afternoon tea. It's £25 with the traditional afternoon tea, but I think they do a gentleman's afternoon tea as well. And I think the only difference is I think you get a couple of extra savoury items. So this one is the £25 one for me. And we've got a mixture of wraps, sandwiches, one fruit scone and a couple of desserts. So what I'll do is I'll try them out and I'll put what they are on screen if I can remember. But what we'll do is we'll get started with the sandwiches. So we have quite a nice wedge, looks to be ham and cheese sandwich. Really nice fresh bread as well. Mm. Really good amount of filling as well. Mm, yummy. Mm. Yeah, really flavoursome. I think it's got like a mustard sauce as well. Mm. And I'm also not sure whether this is bottomless or not. But either way, £25 for an afternoon tea. I think it's pretty good in really amazing grounds. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, really flavoursome. So now we'll try one of the wraps. Now I can't remember what the lady said this was, uh, but this is one of the wraps. And it's got cucumber and it's got pepper and carrot. And I think it's got pesto. So what I'll do is I'll put the information on screen as to what they are, the fillings. But um, I'm not usually a fan of wraps, but we'll give this one a go. Mmm, mm. I think it's got feta inside as well. It's actually quite refreshing um, flavours. Mmm, yeah, I'm not usually a fan of feta, but I quite like this with the combo of the vegetables. Mmm, and herbs. And it's definitely got some kind of pesto in it as well. But no, I think I'm converted. I do really like this wrap actually, um, compared to other wraps I've had. I wouldn't normally go to it, but I really like the flavours of this one. So, so far so good. And I really liked the ham and cheese with mustard sandwich. Well, so far, that's two out of two. I like both of those, the wrap and the sandwich. And then next we've got, I guess, probably my least favourite, which would be the cucumber. So it's a cucumber sandwich. And if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know I'm not a huge fan of cucumber. However, I did like the wrap that did have cucumber in. So we'll see, but jury's out on this one. Mm. Yeah. Definitely not a fan, it is just cucumber and I think cream cheese. Bread's really lovely, really fresh. Mm, not for me. You guys may like it, it's actually really quite refreshing. But um, yeah, that's a pass. So next up is the fruit scone, which to give you an idea, it's absolutely massive. Uh, really warm and yeah, pretty big. So it is a fruit one. I don't think they gave me a choice for a plain scone. Um, I do prefer plain scones, but this is really crispy and really soft inside. And then we've also got a strawberry jam. Just a little mini strawberry jam. And in a little kind of container, we've got some clotted cream, just the fave bit. So, just peeling it open. And I think as well for just 25 pounds, like I don't expect it in like silverware. But, um, but yeah, so we'll just give these guys a try. What I'll do is, just show you that. And again, as usual, I will put the clotted cream on first. A nice big wedge of clotted cream. And 
then just spoon it on like so. And we do get quite a small amount of jam, so if you're really interested in your jam, you might want extra, which I don't know if it's included. Give this a go. Mmm. 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 Really nice. Really moist. And really crispy on the outside. Just the way I like it. Mmm. Oh, really, really, really flavoursome as well. go to say it's one of the best scones out of my entire afternoon tea playlist so I don't say that lightly but it's really moist inside really flavoursome really crispy minus the fruit which I'm not a fan of and that's my personal choice but um, yeah really tasty I probably would want a bit more clotted cream just because you guys know I love a lot of, lot of clotted cream but yeah, really, really tasty. And the fact that it's all nice and warm as well. Delicious. I'm a happy bunny. So I would say about the scones, I really like them, really tasty, quite crumbly. So it's quite hard to spread the clotted cream and the jam on, but really, really nice. Um, quite fancy another one, but I will pace myself. I've got more desserts to come. So next we've got some other desserts. So it looks like we've got two macarons to be a, a quite a large Victoria sponge and then a raspberry and I think chocolate slice so get stuck in so just little mini mini um, macarons I would say they're actually smaller than like the ladere ones but um, feel really fresh I'm imagining this is a pistachio one so let's give this a try Mmm. Oh, that's a good macaron. Nice and chewy with an outside crisp. Mmm. Mmm. I love that. Just the right amount, but really, really yummy. Let's give you an idea. Mmm. So we've got the next one which again I'm assuming is chocolate. Can you see that? Mm. Mm. Oh, actually, I don't think that is chocolate. It tastes of coffee. coffee. I'm not a big fan of coffee. I don't actually drink coffee. But again, it's super, super fresh. Really nice crisp and uh, nice and spongy inside. Just not a fan of the coffee flavour. But the pistachio one was delicious. Hmm, yummy. So, next we will have the and raspberry kind of, I guess, slab. Again, I'll put the details in the um, screen because I'm not quite sure exactly what it's called. But yeah, smells lovely. Looks like dark chocolate with raspberry and it looks to be whipped cream. with whipped cream. Mm. That's really nice and it's really light as well. So the tartness of the raspberry kind of cuts through the richness of the chocolate and the mousse is like super super light. I 
I think there's a little bit of crispness in there. I'm not sure, maybe praline or nut. But um, it's really nice with the creaminess of the kind of um, mousse and the cream. And the dark chocolate's really, really kind of like rich and bitter. Mm, really nice. Right, so the last item is quite a large Victoria sponge, which is basically sponge with raspberry and fresh cream. But yeah, it's pretty big. So I'm not a huge fan of Victoria sponge, and I'm actually a bit full, but we will give it a go. But yeah, pretty, pretty decent portion size, so I kept that till last. So just having the um, Victoria sponge. It's really nice. It's not too dense. Mm. I don't think I can finish it all though, I'm actually quite full. But yeah, really nice. Maybe a little bit dry. But it's nice with the um, kind of like raspberry or strawberry jam and the fresh cream. But yeah, I am quite full. But really nice, actually, really nice. And quite large for an afternoon tea. And when you're paying £25 per person, I think that's pretty good, to be honest with you, compared to what I usually pay. And you can have coffee or tea refillable. Um, I chose to have a soft drink, so I had a cranberry juice. But they have come up to me and um, want to refill it, so that's great. So you've got options, and I do think for like £25, I think it's pretty reasonable. And you're in really good um, location at Burley House. So yeah, pretty cost effective. But I won't finish it all because I am quite full and I do eat a lot of afternoon teas. So I'm going to pace myself. But no, yummy really really nice wasn't quite sure what I was expecting actually because I've never been here before and I wasn't quite sure um, of the environment so it's in the orangey restaurant it's probably a little bit more casual like I'm um, in a jumper I'm not I haven't got heels on or anything um, it's very casual it's more like a cafe that's within the grounds of Burley House so you wouldn't need to necessarily get dressed up um, but really nice, um, really relaxing, staff are really lovely as well. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. But I'm going to pay the bill and just head out. But yeah, really nice. Um, really attentive as well, the staff coming over checking on me if I need anything, um, which is great. Really, really nice. So I've just paid it up, it's getting a bit dark now, but um, yeah, so that was my first experience at Burley House for afternoon tea, and the staff are really lovely. I am quite surprised actually, the, the cost, because it's £25 for the traditional afternoon tea, which I think is very reasonable, um, and I think also the drinks are refillable. Um, which is nice. I don't think the food is though. Pretty sure it's not bottomless, but that's fine. I mean, what do you expect for £25? Um, but yeah, overall, I, um, I was quite impressed actually. I think the only things that I wasn't that keen on was again the cucumber sandwiches, which you guys know me that I'm not a fan of cucumber. Um, but, and also the Victoria sponge, not so much for me, but no, really, really nice. And yeah, I really like the sandwiches, the, in particular the ham and mustard, and also um, the wrap, which was with pesto. And I'm not usually a big fan of wraps, so a bit converted to that. But no, all in all, £25, you literally can't go wrong. 
Um, it's a lot more casual. You can kind of turn up in jeans. It's more like a cafe. Ooh, where am I going? I'm a bit lost. Okay, I think it's this way. <laughs> There's like no one around. <laughs> the afternoon teas do start at 3 p.m. So it's not like it's an all day thing. Um, and because it's winter in the UK, it's, it's pretty dark, but I've got these on because my eyes are very bloodshot and sore today for some reason. But yeah, um, I would say as well, if you do come, I think you can pay for tickets to look around the house and the gardens. And like I mentioned earlier, they do do a Christmas fair, which is like a extra cost. But I think they're doing a Christmas afternoon tea as well, from what the staff were telling me. But I imagine when it's during the fair, it'd be really, really busy. But, oh God, I'm out of breath. Ooh. But um, yeah, I mean, what I can see, they're obviously setting up for the uh, Christmas fair, which should be soon. But um, a couple of things, if you have got mobility issues, because there was an elderly couple that sat next to me and they struggled. So there is disability parking, but I think that's been moved for the Christmas fair. Um, and there's also steps getting into the Orangery restaurant, but there is a stair lift if you needed to know that. Um, and also the distance to the like standard car park. Whew, out of breath. Whew. So the distance from the standard car park to, um, so it's free parking by the way. There's quite a lot of it, so it shouldn't be a problem. But it's a bit of a walk to where the Orangery restaurant is in the house. It, it's flat and like Tarmac Road, but if you've got mobility issues and things like that, it, it's not right by it. So you just kind of need to bear that in mind. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a little bit different. I wanted to try and do, as part of the afternoon tea playlist, some kind of um, cheaper options, such as this. And I've got some of the selections as well, which if I've uploaded them, I'll link in the card in the corner and the description bar below, and also the playlist for the afternoon teas. I've got quite a few others coming up, so um, keep watching. But thanks, thanks for watching. Really appreciate your ongoing support with the channel. And if you're regular subscribers, yeah, thanks again. It, it's really appreciated. And I really hope you enjoy the videos. So yeah, more scones and clotted cream ahead. But um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.